Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home. Today we're in my laundry room. I'm going to quickly show you guys some before shots. I've been mentioning a laundry room makeover here on my channel for several months now and guess what? Today is the day that we're finally getting started with this laundry room makeover. Our painters are showing up on Monday. So I must get in here and clear everything out of the laundry room. I got up bright and early this Saturday morning to get this huge chore taken care of. If you happen to be new to my channel today, hello, I'm Robin. I am so, so happy that you're here. Now let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start off by giving you guys a little tour of my utility room. It's extremely long, and but very narrow. So I'm just going to show you around just to kind of see how it's set up at the moment. Not much to it at all. You've got, we've got this beautiful back door that goes on our back deck. Um, so that comes right into the utility room and then you saw it goes into the kitchen. I have my Yeti vacuum cleaner plugged in down here. I have this tree haul, which is very small. I am definitely going to either buy another one or maybe have someone come and build one. I'll insert a picture here of what I would really love to have here in the utility room. So here's what I have now. Um, let's see here. This is just an area where I have got I raised three children in this home. So these are just memories of all their friends, all their graduation invitations, just different memories here on these little boards. I just have this shelf here just for some extra decor on the wall. I've had this little desk since I was probably gosh, I think like 13 years old. I think I'm gonna try to sell that on Facebook Marketplace. I really don't wanna keep it any longer. It's not gonna uh, go with the aesthetics that I have here in the utility room, hopefully. What I have in the desk, I just try to keep games, and the remote for the outside television that we have on the back deck, and um, maybe my the kids' birth certificates, maybe some important papers, staplers, paint, just little odds and ends stay down here. And I think I just have games down here too. Yes, lots and lots of games. <laughs> so we try to have a game night at our house like once a month. So I try to, we try to come up with a, a new game every now and then. So that's why I try to keep my games. This is an extra storage cabinet that comes from uh, Lowe's, I believe. I'm going to get one more though. This is where I store all of my extra food and stuff at. So this pantry is not the sturdiest, it's not solid wood, it's just made out of that cheap stuff. But it does serve a purpose and it does hold all of my extra condiments and paper towels and all that extra stuff that I just do not have room for in my kitchen. So it comes in handy, but this came from, did I say Lowe's? I think I might've got this from Home Depot. Okay, so here's all that I store inside here, a little bit of everything. And like I said, I'm gonna have one more coming in so that I'll have a double pantry here in the utility room. Okay, now in this area, um, the only thing that's bad about this utility room is we don't have much lighting. I've got that ceiling fan and then I've got this little lamp plugged up to an outlet over here. So I'm gonna talk to the guy that's gonna come by and do my painting and see if there's something else I could do in this part of the utility room for lighting. Cause as you can see, it's pretty dark back here, but who knows, I may just stay with a lamp and just get a different lamp. But for right now, here's my setup. Um, I think I'm gonna do maybe a wood open shelf from maybe that window down to the corner down there and take that shelf off. I think I've decided to do maybe two open shelves right there. I'm not real sure uh, what I wanna do above the um, washer and dryer. I think if I do cabinets above here, it's gonna kinda close it in a little more. So I think I wanna keep just some open shelves here above the washer and dryer. Right here beside this uh, pantry, uh, this is where I keep my ironing board and my broom, things like that. And this is just an old shelf that's got some storage in there where pretty much all my cleaning supplies stay. Um, I think one of these holds my, yeah, just some extra towels that we wash the trucks with. Um, things that, um, I think my little pads that go on my spin mop are in here somewhere. And then just some extra miscellaneous items down there. Um, we keep our extra paper plates here. So this is just a storage. Um, here's all my cleaning uh, for things that I don't have a home for. So this will definitely get, this is definitely gonna go. Now right now, this is pretty much where we keep Derek's uh, work clothes at. He is a um, diesel mechanic. So we wash his clothes separately from our regular clothes and we just fold them as we get them out of the dryer and put them right there. So I definitely need something different there. I'm looking for cabinets that are a little bit, are, 
about the, the width of this. They're not very deep. I would love to have like a cabinet along this area here with a top on it, maybe a butcher block top for like a folding table. And then I would also like to have some upper cabinets for up here for a little bit much more storage also, because as you can see here, I do not hardly have, well, I don't really have any storage here in this utility room. So that's my plans for this area right here, for some top cabinets to go there, and then a couple of bottom cabinets down here with a top on it that I can call my folding table. And guys, let me give you a close up of how desperately I need to paint this utility room. It's probably been, I don't know, maybe 12 years since it's been painted and it is in pretty bad shape. So I cannot wait to see what a new coat of painting paint looks like in the utility room. So that's pretty much the setup I have now. Not much to this utility room at all. It's very plain and uh, not very pleasing to the eyes. So I am going to insert some pictures as I'm talking about this utility room today of my uh, ideal of how I want my, my utility room to turn out. It's going to take a few months to get it all done, but I cannot wait to see the transformation that's going to happen in this utility room. I am so, so excited. Okay, so now we're going to get busy and we're going to start taking everything out of this utility room um, so that we can get it ready to be painted on Monday. Okay. All right, I brought some boxes home from work. So my plan is just to take everything out of that pantry and everything I can and put them in these boxes and maybe set them outside on the back deck um, since it's covered. And hopefully I brought home enough boxes to get everything out and boxed up and still be somewhat organized. So when I go to put things back in the utility room, I'll know where everything is. Okay, if you guys recognize this hot pink jogging suit, I also wore this when I um, did my Valentine's coffee bar video. Um, for you guys that are new, I work a full-time job outside of the house along with um, trying to uh, run this wonderful YouTube channel that we all have here. Um, so there's weekends where I have to film more than some more than two videos, sometimes three videos on a weekend. Um, and so this was one of those weekends that I tried to get a lot of filming done. So um, I know sometimes I wear the baggiest clothes you've ever seen, but guys, on the weekends I am comfortable. I am not about wearing um, some really nice clothes to impress anyone i normally film with baggy clothes on and no makeup on but it is truly real life around here on this channel so if you're new i apologize if you're not used to someone that doesn't like dress um you know maybe more appropriately but um this uh, jogging suit actually came from tj maxx i went in there to get some things for my coffee bar area and um, found this hanging there and i thought it was just adorable pink is my favorite color even though i don't own a lot of pink stuff um pink is absolutely my favorite color so so sorry if you got to see this jogging suit one more time, but I'm definitely comfortable today because I've got a lot of work to do today in this video. I got up real early this Saturday morning and filmed my coffee bar, my Valentine's coffee bar. Um, I'll link that below if you didn't see it. And then this is probably, I think, around 11 and when I start doing this um, video today. And I think I end like, I don't know, maybe 5 o'clock tonight. So it was quite a job getting everything taken out of this utility room as you can imagine. I had mentioned in a previous video that some of the linoleum has been trying to come up here in the utility room so I'm going to show you guys a, sh a shot real quickly of what I meant by it. it's just trying to pill up where they kind of had to piece it together and I've tried to put glue there over the past couple years but it's just not working so I am extra excited 
to get some new flooring in here. Now, um, I'd also said in a previous video that I was trying to continue the wood floor that's in the kitchen into the utility room. However, when my contractor went to try to find that same flooring, he couldn't find it, and we couldn't even find really the same color. Had to stop and give Remy a treat. Um, so, um, you'll see here at the very end of the video, I'm going to put a little clip of what the um, new flooring looks like at the end of this video. But it does not flow as good as I'd like it to. Um, the new flooring that's in the utility room is absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking at it now as I'm editing. It is so, so pretty. Um, the floor that we have in the kitchen is, I think it's around 12 years old. It could definitely be replaced. I would love to be able to save up some money. I did go ahead and get a quote from the contractor of how much it would cost to continue the flooring that he put in my utility room and continue it into the kitchen, into the dining room, and down the hallway. So I've mentioned that I've been doing this envelope system, the Dave, Ra the Dave Ramsey envelope system for not quite a year yet. So I have, guess what? I have started an envelope to hopefully save up some money to maybe continue this flooring into the kitchen and down the hallway. Now that will definitely be probably a next fall project. However, I'm starting to save and I'm very excited about it. Have you ever noticed when you go to do a project, another project kind of gets added onto it? That's pretty much what I'm doing to this utility room project. Because um, like I said, I was just going to do flooring and painting in here. And now I'm like, oh, maybe I should carry new flooring into the kitchen. So they kind of pile up when you start doing remodeling projects in your house. Okay, so slowly but surely, I'm getting this shelf and um, everything taken out of it, and then I'll put it on the back porch for the time being. I am not going to reuse this shelf. It is very old. It has definitely served its purpose, and as you can see, it is full of a little bit of everything. You guys see that pantry that's right there. Um, I am going, I've got another pantry coming in. It's actually at Home Depot right now. They are uh, putting it together for me, and I hopefully will pick that up this week. So I'll have two pantries in here and my plans are everything I'm taking out of that um, shelf right there. Well, I'm going to declutter a bunch of it, but mainly my cleaning stuff. I will put that um, my cleaning items into that second pantry. So hopefully everything that um, is left over after I declutter things that I truly need to keep in here like the iron. Um, and all my cleaning products, my cleaning rags, just miscellaneous things that I need to have in my laundry room. I'm hoping with that second pantry, all that stuff will go in there. So this pantry that you see here is pretty much for my food. And then the other pantry that I'm going to have is going to be for just my miscellaneous items and more of like a storage cabinet. So I'm very excited. I won't have to have so much stuff in my laundry room because as you can see, I have got this thing stuffed to the rim. What is that old coffee commercial? Stuffed to the rim with brim or filled to the rim with brim. I have got it full of everything. So, um, yes, so I'm very excited to get that other pantry in here and use it more of like a storage closet. Okay, and here's another shot for anybody out there who thinks I did not need to paint the walls. Wow, this place is a disaster. You don't realize how dirty or how yucky something is until you've taken everything off of it and then it's down to the nitty gritty. So now that I've got that area wiped out you can or cleaned out, you can really see how desperately this um, laundry room needs painting. Okay, now for the fun part. I am going to get... Um, the food and all of my pantry items uh, into boxes out of this um, cabinet and into boxes 
and I'll just have to put all of those boxes on the dining room table. Here I'm just talking to Derek guys. Um, we keep a running grocery list of what we need. And I sure thought we needed storage bags. And then ta-da, I found them in this uh, pantry today. So that's another thing I'm excited about is just to get everything out of this pantry and then getting it organized once I put everything back in. So that'll be a, a plus to have a little bit more organization here in this laundry room also. Um, as you can see here, I keep like that little blender that you see there has a story behind it. It is probably 30 years old. That was a wedding gift for Derek and I. Isn't that crazy? Over 30 years old. Um, the, actually, the little pitcher that uh, went with it broke one time, and I keep it because it's got that little chopper to it. And that's at Thanksgiving. I use that little chopper to chop up all my vegetables that go in my dressing. So I have to hang on to that. And then you saw my frother there. And I usually keep all my extra condiments in here. These Lazy Susans are really good to kind of keep things um, at eyeball level. You can turn them around, see what all's here. So I have a little bit of organizing in this little pantry. Not too much, but enough to say that I do. Okay, we're finally on the last shelf here in the pantry. If you're still with me, leave me a thumbs up emoji in the comment section. I know some of this might be so boring to you guys, but I'm hoping this will encourage you to maybe get into your pantry or get into your, into your laundry room today. Get somewhere, get into some area of your home where you need some cleaning or some organizing or some decluttering. Um, it is the best time in the new year to declutter any area that you just hate to look at or maybe want to use it for a different reason. So I sure hope me showing you all of this um, footage today will help you in one of those areas of your home. Another place that I am going to definitely uh, clean out and declutter and make a different um, purpose for the area is my hall closet. It is a pretty good size closet. And right now, it is just full of just a little bit of everything. I really don't even know what's in there, y'all. Here's a great shot of the pantry being empty now. Ah, oh, such a good feeling. But another video to be looking for is me getting into my hall closet. And I'm going to turn that into a linen closet. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, so here's a quick shot. You can see what I put on the back porch. Um, and so most of the food went on the dining room table. And then everything else I tried to put on the back porch. So I didn't film it, but I took my spin mop with some OxyClean. And I wiped down all the walls just to kind of get them good and clean before they painted them. So, okay, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for a sneak peek of what it looks like with new flooring and my new paint job. I appreciate you spending your time with me, friends. Be sure you subscribed. Be sure you hit that bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you every time I upload a video here on my channel. I'll have several videos uh, completing this laundry room makeover, so I wouldn't want you to miss any of it. Thanks, friends, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.